Engineer in Industrial Manufacturing Systems Engineering here at Iowa State this fall 2018 semester. Our group is working on principles of uh, business and technology automation for separately managed accounts for IE422. Hi, my name is Brian Brinkley. I am a senior in Industrial Manufacturing Systems Engineering at Iowa State. Hi, my name is Sarah Eckenberry and I'm currently a senior in Industrial and Manufacturing Systems Engineering here at Iowa State. Hi, my name is Rubita Patel. I'm a senior in Industrial Manufacturing and Systems Engineering here at Iowa State. So our main objectives for this project was to reduce the number of manual hours it takes to process the data to the hub by decreasing the dependency of human input by 90%, minimizing different sources of error due to the manual nature of work by 90%, and minimizing the impact of errors on the downstream process by 90%, resulting in a minimum of $80,000 per report and risk aversion. Within Principal Global Investors, the separately managed account operation team currently manages 46,000 accounts, 75% of which are under manual processes. These accounts can be categorized into two categories, separately managed accounts and unified managed accounts. PJ gathers and stores their assets under management reports in the data center called the hub. This process requires eight business days at the beginning of each month. Data is sourced from various sponsored reports that are generated via eight different websites and 12 emails each month. 20 to 40 hours each month is spent manually inputting the data. This leaves a higher chance of user error due to the manual nature of the process. Value stream maps are used as a deliverable for our project to visually represent the current state of the process. We have unified managed account business processes flowing to the QC processes on the left and separately managed accounts business processes flowing to the QC on the right. Sandwiched between two businesses is the reconciliation account processes. The bottleneck of the process is data manipulation process that takes 20 to 40 hours of manual processing into a load file. After the processing, QC1, 2, and 3 occurs, where the load files are checked if the compilation is accurate and finally uploaded to the hub, after which file undergoes one more QC to check if the data processed by the hub is correct. To visualize how the data flows throughout the process, the team developed current state and future state data flow diagrams. In the future state, point one automatically pulls and manipulates data from raw sources into the load file. The dashboard system in place will show outliers, error messages, exceptions, and the ability to override the data. The dashboard will then automatically send the files back into the hub. The data cell mapping is a comprehensive template loaded with the information needed to create a coded network of automation. Each cell in the template includes the data source file, the source column within the source file, and the formula needed to derive the data. For our economic and qualitative impact, the investment operations specialist spends about 475 minutes a month entering and manipulating over 200 cells of raw sponsored data, such as ending AUM and number of accounts, into uh, the model only load file. And so, with automation, this time would be reduced to about 42 minutes a month. And then the investment operations analyst spends 120 to 240 minutes a month performing the quality control process, and automating this process would address the issues of the vulnerability of errors, and this time would be reduced to 12 to 24 minutes per month.